horse a clear view of the hurdles. He took it up three out last year. On their way, an upgrade a little bit slow to go, and blowing wind slow to go, and Theatre World sits out the back he normally does. The pace is on, they're at the first of eight flights in the Smurfit Champion Hurdle. And on the inside, it's a grey shot, midnight legend out wide, City Hall and Nomadic as they make this uh, giant stride towards flight two. Upgrade's got going, Isterbrack is uh, sitting wide on the course for a share of the lead, or oh, about a length and a half off that pace from this uh, Hawkeye view. Come down towards flight number two then, City Hall, midnight legend, and grey shot, Isterbrack, and now upgrade out wide away to a four. French Holly is uh, shadowing Isterbrack, they're going one and two already into a midfield position. Then Nomadic, then we've got Zavarapad, Bellator, the inside. Lady Cricket's out wide, three chair follows, they jump the second, doesn't he jump well? But Isterbrack, a champion hurdler, a champion hurdler. He makes the turn past the stands though, down in about a sharing six. And it's Grey Shot, Midnight Legend and City Hall, one, two and three. The giant French Holly through for four. Nomadic and Isterbrack and Zafara Bad and Upgrade and Lady Cricket and Bellator. And Blowing Wind and T-Chef and then Theatre World and Mr. Morose is the order as they go past us and out into the country in the Smurfit Champion Hurdle. And Isterbrack is down in sixth spot and on the wide outside of a wave of three or four for the minor places. Down the back straight they go, grey shot on the inside of Midnight Legend City Hall in the red headgear, followed by French Holly out wide. Then there's a break to Nomadic and Isterbrack, and then back to Zavarabad on the inside as they jump flight number three, big jump by Isterbrack there. Mr. Morose is towards the rear at the moment with Theatre World, an upgrade is already under pressure, and Blowing Wind is also among the back numbers as well. On towards the middle one in the back straight, and it's Midnight Legend in the striped jacket with City Hall, then French Holly, grey shot headed now, back in fourth place from Nomadic and then Isterbrack. Lady Cricket towards the outside making a bit of headway then from Bellator as they jump the net. The Farabad on the inside followed by Tuchev blowing wind upgrade. Mr. Morose towards the back still with Theatre World. Beginning to climb on the far side and it's still City Hall and Midnight Legend. They go head and head with French Holly Andrew Thornton just niggling the big horse away in third place. Isterbrack going closer now with Lady Cricket on his outside. They jump the flight of hurdles at the top of the hill. Number five the leader City Hall made a mistake, the Farabad was down there, but they're bunching up front, City Hall from Midnight Legend on the inside, French Holly, Isterbrack in about fourth or fifth then, and these are followed on the inner by Nomadic and Lady Cricket, and then back to Tuchev and Grey Shot who's back peddling. they're at the top of the hill then, City Hall, French Holly, Isterbrack is close on the outside though. Charlie Swan in the white cap took it up free from home, despite that stumble at the top of the hill, is getting closer to the action, but in the dark blue, French Holly with the red headgear, City Hall running a marvellous race, and then Isterbrack on the outside, Nomadic, one of the outsiders through on the inner, and Isterbrack now is closing on French Holly, but Nomadic and City Hall are playing big run-ins uh, from the back, Bellator with a run, then Tweecher, then Midnight Legend, so they come down towards the second last, and it's the head-to-head -head we wanted, on the right of the dark blue, French Holly, white cap, Isterbrack, there'll be nothing to choose between them as they take the second last but only half a length down was Bellator in third place and trying to close but now it's the Brack under Charlie Swan go on in the Smurfit champion hurdle and it's a colossal roar from the crowd as the Irish champion who's run 16 times and has won 14 this is his 17th race Will it be his 15th win at the last? It's an annihilation for Easter Brack. He's eight clear from French Holiday and Nomadic. And then Theatre World is plodding on up the hill. But Easter Brack is a true champion, the epitome of a champion, bravely coming up the hill. Theatre World comes through for a second. Easter Brack is the winner of the Smurfit Champion Hurdle. Theatre World, second, French Holiday, third. Mr. Morose runs through for four Nomadic feature. And then Bellator and City Hall and Lady Cricket a midnight legend and then we have uh, Grey Shot and then Upgrade who was last of all and so triple champions have been Persian Wars, Sir Ken, see you then and Hatton Grace, it's the Brack has come to the Cheltenham Festival meeting now on three occasions and he's won all three times the Royal and Sun Alliance saw him a boxer in 97 when he won the champion hurdle of 98 well that was uh, just exceptional but this this was perfection, this was Isterbrack, fellows of J.P. McManus, trained by Aidan O'Brien and ridden by Charlie Swan. Charlie Swan, what a horse have you ever ridden better?
I mean, is this even better than last year? Yeah, ground is probably a little bit dead from him. Like it may be looser or a bit quicker. But um, he's brilliant. He, he did miss the last two a little bit, but he was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was promised that in Ireland. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Well, the roistering can start now. The big hope has obliged. They've had setbacks in the first two races. No words are needed. The cheers tell you all. Charlie and Isterbrack have obliged for a nation. course announcer going through the academic routine of the winning distances three and a half and two and a half and his stable companion theatre world ran on so bravely to finish second but this is the one that so many of them the Irish followers pin their hopes on and John you retired as Charlie Swan began to come to the fore he's as nice a guy as you'll meet anyway certainly no better and he's done remarkably well since he began training and mixing the two professions and two champion hurdles really something special for him there was never any doubt a 92 and 4 to 1 chance is to break when he passed the post a year ago for this year's champion hurdle he won't be that this time back to 9 to 4 on the very best price I saw on the track was they asked for 15 to 8 on and beat Theatre World at 16 to 1 the first and second last year this is only the second time that the first and second have repeated in champion hurdles in 78 and 9 Monksfield beat Sea Pigeon both times that is a record as well the third horse with French Holly each way bad for the bookmakers sent off at 11 to 2 well, it wasn't as smooth as it was last year, as Charlie said, probably the fact that the ground was a bit sticky. He missed one hurdle out down the far side, coming down to the front to the second last, just tracking French Holly, gets in close, but he helps Charlie. Just have a look where Mr. Morose comes from. Well done to uh, Nigel Twiston Davis, picked up £10,000 for fourth, fourth place, but uh, he begins to just pull away at this point. Last year, he absolutely pulverised him from this point. Today, you just felt like he was staying on gets in close but going well enough still able to pop and get his front end up and over and from then on no need to worry it was always going to be a victory even if it wasn't quite a sensation as last year it still counts just the same and as we've seen so often at Cheltenham every winner gets a uh a rousing welcome but uh, when Charlie Swan turns left at the bottom there preceded by the two outriders and he begins to enter the unsaddling enclosure for an Irish winner there's always an extra special welcome Irishman just beginning to come round. And it's Q Bedlam. 